Hello everyone. Uh, our project is on hexapod locomotion. Uh, hexapod is basically a robot which uses six legs in a coordinated fashion for its movement, uh, just like insects do. Uh, our project has three major goals. One, to move the hexapod in a smooth and fast manner in all directions. Two, to rotate the hexapod at its place, uh, both clockwise and anticlockwise, again in a smooth fashion. And three, to provide a wireless interface so that the robot can be controlled remotely using a keyboard or some controller. So we are a team of four members consisting of Shivam. He has worked on wireless communication through Zigbee module and also experimented uh, with the RTOS implementation of our project. Uh, Rahul, uh, he has worked on the wave and ripple gates as well as the two-legged gates for linear motion of the bot. And Alankar, uh, he has worked on the rotational gates to turn the bot. Uh, finally, I am Anvit. I have worked on tripod gates and their various modifications. So to implement our aims, we have implemented various gates. First off, it is tripod gate. It is the fastest movement gate for hexapods. So what we do is we number the legs from 1 to 6. Therefore, leg number 1, 3 and 5 form an odd tripod. And leg number 2, 4 and 6 form even tripod. It uses these tripods in a coordinated fashion to bring about its motion. So we will show you a demo of the same. Uh, in this, we pass on the commands to hexapod via Zigbee module, which is used for wireless communication. We can select the moment of direc direction of movement of this hexapod, means in which direction we want to go. There are 12 possible directions, so we will show you one particular direction movement. So here what is happening is, it uses three of the legs to move in forward direction, while the th other three balance it on the ground. So this is tripod gate. We have improved upon our implementation so to bring about a faster version of this gate, which is tripod continuous gate, and it uses a larger degree of freedom of these motors to bring about faster motion. It has lower stability, but this is much faster than the previous one, as you can see in this demo. We have also implemented an uh, insect gate which is moving in a direction which is between two consecutive legs. So this was inspired from the movement of cockroach as we see in biology. So as you can see here, the insect is moving between two of the legs. The three legs on each side are similarly placed on in the direction of, about direction of motion. Uh, in addition to this, we also implemented wave gate and ripple gate and also two leg gates for the stability of the hexapod. Uh, now we will show you a demo of the turning of the hexapod. So we implemented two legs gate and three leg gate, tripod gate in general. So we will show you a demo of the tripod gate for turning of the hexapod. So here it turns in clockwise direction and this is a faster version of a tripod gate. We also have so slower version but that is similar to this one. Having seen these gates, the innovations which we have embedded in our project may be described as follows. First was the increment of the speed of hexapod. So by developing coordination and synchronization between the 18 servo motors, we were able to achieve much greater speed in the motion of our hexapod. And secondly, increment uh, in the stability of hexapod by developing gates like wave and ripple which move one leg at a time, uh, we were able to achieve motion which was very stable. So having implemented these gates, we also faced a lot of challenges. One major challenge was to develop coordination between the 18 servo motors. If the servo motors are not well synchronized, the motion is very bumpy and daggy and either the legs collide with each other while moving and the motion is very unsymmetrical. So to deal with this, we had to very appropriately select the constants like delays, step lengths, angular variables, etc. Only then was the motion stable and symmetrical. So this was very important challenge which we have faced while developing the gates. Secondly was the hardware constraints wherein the module, the hexapod we used had, uh, we had difficulties in giving commands to different legs wherein the same command given to different legs produced different angular motions in those legs. Secondly, the battery we used had a short span of life while it took a longer time to recharge. Also, we tried to implement our code in RTOS framework but the problem was that the code works on the principle of timer interrupts. And in RTOS, since it's a multitasking environment, defining our own interrupt servicing routines was very difficult. So this hampered our progress in developing the code in RTOS. And as of now, we have implemented the code in IR embedded workbench. 
and since the code is well modularized, it can easily be exported to RTOS framework once the interrupt servicing routines are well functionalized. So, uh, talking about the future enhancements on this implementation, we can enhance our project to build a RTOS implementation of the project where we can aid multitasking. We can also pr uh, build a obstacle avoidance bot on our hexabot application where the hexabot will travel, uh, follow a path and avoids the obstacles on its way. We can also build a white line follower using this hexabot application. There are also a lot of real life applications of this implementation. For example, uh, uh, we can have a all terrain bot where our hexabot will move past on smooth surfaces and will move with the stable gates on the rough terrains like mountain. Using, uh, we can also have implementation of our hexabot uh, application in uh, military where it can be uh, used to send the military hexabot on unmanned missions where the hexabot will travel to non-friendly human regions and do a difficult task. Thank you, hope you liked our presentation.